Welcome to this look at new mods on Farming Simulator 22 with me, Mr. CDP. It's Tuesday, the 8th of February. We've got more mods. Quite a few, actually. Uh, no updates today in front of me. We've got 120 tree saplings. These are just representative of said saplings. If you're going to plant your own trees in-game, the standard in-game pallets hold 20 saplings for a 1,000 these hold 120 saplings. They're a bit more expensive, but it still works out cheaper buying them in bulk like this. And as you can see, whichever one you choose, it has it labelled very clearly on the on the uh, crate, so you're not going to get mixed up with what you're choosing. Uh, these you'll find under pallets. The standard in-game tree saplings, there are 1,000 for 20 pieces. This is by uh, Mac Trucker 921, 022 megabytes to download, and each one of these is seven slots. Um, but then, as you can see, subsequent ones are then one slot afterwards. And once you've used them, those slots come back to you because obviously there's nothing being represented. If we click on the saplings, we've got spruce, spruce two, pine, stone pine, birch, oak, willow, maple, pagoda, dogwood. Shagbark Hickory, American Elm, Cypress, Downey Service Brewery, and back to Spruce again. So no to choose from 3,500 for 120. Still works out cheaper than buying other pallets. What should happen? He says if you get the uh, Damcon PL75, come alongside it, it should say refill tree planter. And there we go, we've got a spruce on there to plant, and away you go with your planter. And you start planting. Lovely. 120 tree slap slap slaplings. Saplings by Mac Trucker921. Uh, next we've got this. These. There's quite a lot actually. Um, decorative details pack by Triangles Trouble. 6.86 .6 megabytes download. Varying different slot counts, all very low. It's nothing's massive on here 45 decorative objects as you can see i think i've put them all out we'll go through and have a look at them in build mode all very nicely detailed this just adds some immersion to your farms if you're doing a storyline you can place things now obviously these aren't movable once they're placed you can't pick them up and move them they are just decorative objects um but we've got all that sort of sand pit set here and big tires and port loose signs at the back step ladders skips pallets of stuff got an old jenny there all sorts of very cool stuff you can place oh now that i wasn't expecting i can actually well okay that's quite cool Ooh, take the press out of that what if we take things off this as well Oh no. Oh hang on. Yeah? Okay. That's pretty cool. So, you'll find these in build mode. There you go, you can see them all a lot better there. Uh, in build mode, under decoration, other. We start there with three barrels, container, stack of car uh, stack of carton boxes, concrete parts, concrete paving stones, concrete pipes. Construction, waste, electric box, electric box, large, electric generator, farmer support sign in French and, uh, sorry, in English and French, uh, firewood, gas cylinder, feeder, ladder, manhole, metal box, metal shelves, metal trash, one, metal trash, two, metal trash, three, old equipment, pallet stack, pallet box, stack of pallet boxes, playground, rock one, rock two, rock three, salt bags, sink, table saw, big tyre, toilet, old trailer, container, water tank, wood one, wood two, wooden bench, wooden box, wooden box with hydraulic press, wooden shelf, workbench. Whew. Quite a lot of stuff in that pack to add to whatever it is you're doing on your farm. That's by Triangles Trouble. Next, if Celia G was with me, she'd say, well, and that's what it is. We've got a well. Uh, 2.08 megabytes download, three slots on console. This by Michael or Michael LS. Um, once placed, you do still have to pay for the water, as you do for the next mod as well. Um, but it doesn't take up a huge amount of room. 
you'll find this also under build mode. These are under, I think they were container. Yeah, on the very end there, the bottom. Water tank, uh, slot count will come down from three to one, 2,000 to buy. That's by uh, Michael LS. What I will do is put the um, zone markers on so you can see. The zone markers, I've, I've rotated them all around to the zone markers at the front. Just drive up with your, your whatever water container you want and the trigger will come up to refill and they work no problem at all. Um, so next then is the water fountain pack by Puma145. 8.02 megabytes download. Uh, we've got, this one is, let me get it right, three slots four slots two slots i think it was the way around it went in this pack here as you can see they're here 500 500 and 1000 to buy same thing once placed you come to the front you have to pay for the water nice animation nice bit of sound effect if I put the marker on, as you can see, the markers are all at the front. You can rotate them around any, any way you want to do them. Very handy indeed, the water fountain pack by Puma, 145. Um, moving on from, yeah, we'll, move, we'll just go along the line and I'll go over there and do the bits over there. Yeah, I wasn't intending to, but I'm going to turn the light off. Right, here. We have got the Phoenix IT Runner Edition. This is by ER Shabba VSR Modding Sir. Uh, 16.57 megabytes download and eight slots on console. Can you tell what the problem is with this? Have you worked it out yet? <laughs> if I'm not very much mistaken, as it stands at the time of recording this video on console, we don't have any IT runner packs. I don't think we've got any IT runner packs yet, have we? So whilst it is great and it looks good and the horsepower options on this are insane, I don't think we've got anything we can use it with. I did have a quick look through the mod hub and I've had a look through the store menu and we don't appear to have anything. So, talking of store menu, we've got to our vehicles, to our trucks, along to the end there. 88 grand for the base model, slot count will come down from 8 to 1. Options on this, we've got standard plus trailer hitch on the back. We've got engine set up, 462 horsepower, 640 horsepower, 1,130 horsepower. That will certainly get you about with some weight on the back. Uh, main colour, whole load to choose from. I think we've got metallic type options at the top here. Uh, let's go with, say, red. More glossy. I think it was metallics further down, was it? Yeah, more metallic colours or satiny looking ones further down. We'll go red for the time being. Design colour, let's do an opposing colour, does that section there. Just a couple of bits here and there. Then the next design colour does all of the bits at the moment, which are yellow. Uh, so let's put those on something like blue to stand out. There we go. And then rim colour, we've got a polished metal and then all the various different colours. I think, yeah, there's a metallic copper there but i think i just left it on the uh, polished metal on the one we've got out there those are the options i went for the high horsepower one we'll hop in start it up horn lights sort of beacon sorry lights front. now i think this is the wrong way around because at the moment it's packed now that says retract arm i think it should be the other way around if i press that sends the arm out, which is what we want. Nice animation. And if I press it again, it says extend arm, so I think that might just be slightly around the wrong way. But what we do have on this, there's no doors or windows that open. The camera angle, if I go to there, we've got in-cab, which is nicely detailed. If I do the next one, that's cool. So when you're backing up to a trailer or whatever you want, you can actually see where the hook is. You can do it from the camera. I like that. Uh, so if I now, well, retract the arm, but it says extend. Off it goes. This will go up to 55 miles an hour. And with that sort of horsepower, I'd imagine when we do get some idea, I could, I'm trying to think, I'm racking my brains. I don't think I'm wrong. I'm pretty sure at the time recorded this, we don't have anything IT runner related. If I'm wrong, 
don't be mean about it, just put it in the comments if, if there's something I've missed. But anyway, so. There we go. That's the Phoenix IT Runner Edition by ER Shabbat VSR Modding. So, a welcome return. We've got the Lizard Continental by Vectorman. 12.32 megabytes download, six slots on console. I always thought this looked like a like a mob boss machine, so I put the mob on it. Like I say, it's nice to have it. Uh, this you'll find under cars. We've got the option of standard on the front or with a bumper. We've got interior decoration. We've got standard. We can have a little lizard statue. Farming simulator hat or a fan on the dashboard. We've got attaches standard or trailer with trail hitch. So you can use it around the farm for towing things because it does have a trail hitch. Then we've got Continental at 200 horsepower and the Continental Turbo, which puts that scoop on the bonnet and goes from 200 to 300 horsepower. We can change the main colour to anything on that palette. And then you've got a choice of number plate, rear only, front and rear, whatever you want to choose. That's entirely up to you. Let's hop in. Start it up. Horn. Lights. It's a bit slow off the start, but it will go up to 80 miles an hour. I'm sure, I don't know if I'm imagining this, but has this got smaller wheels than the FS19 version had? I love it. I just, I think it's a brilliant car. I, I know, since it first came out, I've always liked it. Uh, interior, got a bit of flick on the mirrors, but that's not too much of a problem. You can remove that flicker. I have shown it on a few videos now. If you just go on to, into the menu and click on something like a big bag, don't buy it, just click on it and then that will sort your mirrors right out. So there we go. The Lizard Continental by Vectorman. Lovely. I should turn the lights off. Awesome. Uh, next, uh, we've got this beauty. Oh, I love it. I really do like this. That's why I went with, ooh, classy. On the number plate. Sorry, can't help myself. I'm such a child. Um, this is the Class Zerion 3000 series by Smetty. 20.68 megabytes download, 10 slots on console. I used one of these on six ashes and absolutely adored it. Um, it's a little bit smaller than the four and the 5000. Um, it looks great. Some nice options on this as well. Very crisp and clean and tidy. So, this you'll find under large tractors on the very end 330,200 for the base model slot count will come down from 10 to 1 for any subsequent one you get we've got the option of stand now on the back here you've got the connecting ball there for trailers and things the one that comes in the class Zerion saddle track pack doesn't hook up to that it's too long and if it does hook up, it goes into the cab. It doesn't quite work. But the ball is there, so we might get some trailers and things that will work with that, like a gooseneck attacher. We have standard, or we can have it weights on that back section. And we've got the optional Trelleborg, Michelin, Midas, and Knockins. Now, the Knockins only come with that tyre, no other choices. So the other ones then, um, I'm not going to read them all out, but we've got that. We've got the air version. Wides, twins, narrows back to stand oh sorry narrow twins and um, back to the standards under michelin no narrow option on the michelins on the mitres same thing no narrows and then the knock-ins as we've already seen then on the front we've got the option of 1800 kilo weight 2200 2600 or a three-point link then side sign you can have none more of an American spec, or you can have the EU version with those warning signs if you wish. Then we got the Zerion 3300 at 335 horsepower, the Zerion 3800 at 379 horsepower. We can change the main colour, turn anything on that palette. We can change the design colour. Now that does the shroud around the exhaust, black or class green, or the chrome if you want to stick with the chrome. Uh, rim colour. 
I think I went the chrome, which is a, it's a little bit much, but we've got a few different options there. Change the rim colour, and then there's also the licence plate, as you've already seen. Oh, no, hang on. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Ah, oh, I missed the option. Sorry, the track option. That might have been because of the tyre choice I left it on. Um, but the track option, if you leave it on track, it stays just like that. If you put it on track VC, it puts a pillar at the back of the cab. That means you can lift the cab and rotate the cab around to face the other way. So if you want to have the cab rotating, you need track VC. Sorry, I meant to show that. Right, so let's hop in. Start out. Beacons. Horn. Lights. Now we do have the option as well on this. Uh, we've got an all-wheel steer. We have front wheel steer. Steer uh, crab mode left, crab steering right, or back to all-wheel steer again. I don't think we've got any doors or windows to open on this. Nope. Interior. It looks like this. I'm going to have to get rid of that flickering because that's going to drive me mad. Every mod review I do, it does it. There we go. Our beacons are going, as we can see, flashing off the exhaust. Interior, nice and tidy. Um, if I go L1, R1, and X, change driving direction, it lifts the cab up. Spins it around. And settles it back down. And then you can just drive, I'm, I'm dressing, I'm... I'm accelerating now so it just swings the whole lot round and it will look like that so if you're running any equipment that you want close up to you that you wouldn't be able to see like mowers or wood chippers and that kind of stuff you can do it like that and to rotate it back from outside it looks like that I like it a lot I really do. I'll be honest, I know it sounds... Maybe, is it my favourite today? We shall see. There we go. The Class Zerion 3000 Series by Smetty. Uh, moving on from there. We have these. This is the Robert DBS pack by Paolo 5090R. Um, 40.08 megabytes to download. Uh, we've got 10 slots, 8 slots, and 9 slots. I think it goes 10, 8, 9, I think, if I remember correctly. These have got me puzzled. I say not puzzled exactly. I know what they're for. These are basically um, grassland. Um, well, it's, it says weeders, but they're not weeders because they come under the grassland care section. Um, we'll have a look first. I'll, I'll show you them. It'll make more sense to show you them first. Um, so if we come to Grassland Care, we've got them here. We've got the DBS 960, which is 9.6 metre, 140 horsepower required. We've got the um, DBS 720 Eco at 13,700, that's 13,900. That's 7.2 metres, requires 150 horsepower. And then we've got the DBS 720 Plus, which is 17,700. Same width as that one, but it's the Plus, not the Eco. Eco what, you ask? Well, that's a very good point. Um, when you look down on what it says in the mod hub, the 960 says use in game meadow fertilization. The DBS 720 Plus says fertilizing meadows, and the 720 Eco says grassland fertilization, which as far as I can tell is the same thing. Um, yeah, now, what will happen is, we'll jump into this one, start it up. Um, now, it does say unfold weeder and lower weeder. We'll unfold it. This is the wider one. Now, what you should do is once you've cut your grass anywhere, when you've cut your grass, it will go back to one fertilizing state. To add another fertilizing state, you can use one of these. Now, it does mean you don't have to use fertilizer. It, in essence, it then makes it free. If I lower the weeder down now, and we go across, it changes the color of the ground, so we're adding a fertilizing state. So it's gone... However, whatever it was on before you cut it, you cut it, it goes back to one fertilizing state. 
you go over it one of these and it will give you your second fertilizing state and like i say it won't cost you anything because you're not adding fertilizer that in essence is cleaning the weeds out and tidying things up and promoting uh, better irrigation and growth and that kind of stuff and in the real world all of these different sections have um different things they do it's on the it's on, actually it's in the details on the mod um to read i'm not going to read them all out because there's a lot going on now beware and be careful if you've only got one fertilizing state on your field and your grass has grown do not bring this over to try and add a free fertilizing state because if you do it will do this it will give you a fertilizing state it will take your grass away um, so you're better off not doing that cut your grass first then do it just a word of warning now as far as i can tell the other two do exactly the same thing they're just i think they're real world variants the eco the plus but they all do the same thing this one does have beacons on it as well animations are great details are fantastic on they look brilliant um but as far as i can tell they all do the same thing So that's the Robert DBS pack by Paolo 5090R. Lovely. Moving on. We have this. This is, if I can find it on my list, this is the Cavernland Hayfork. This is by North Modding Company, 0 0.87 megabytes download, two slots on console, and it's 2,000 litres. This is old school straw, grass, hay collecting. This will do your forage type things. Um, it's very simple, very basic. It will run off very small tractors and it will collect up whatever you want to. Then you can use it in your feed troughs or wherever it is you want to put it. It's entirely up to you. Uh, you'll find it under miscellaneous. I'm sure that's where it was. Yeah, on the end. It's only 300. And as you can see at the bottom, it does your forage type crops. So it'll do silage as well and uh, manure and those kind of things. 2,000 litres. Slot count will come down from, I say two anyway, from two to one. Options on this, we can change the main colour to the Cavernan green or vice versa, which I think was what I went for. Those are the options. That's what you can do with it. Let's start this up. So from here, L1 and circle, we can raise and lower the whole thing all in one go. And once raised or even lowered, under L1, we can tilt it and raise and lower it manually. So if you want to get a better angle on the ground, you can. So I can tilt that right down so the tines are touching the floor just about now. As far as I can tell, it only works backwards. But if we reverse now over the, over the straw, we'll see. We're picking up our straw until we get to 2,000 litres. There we go. Raise the whole thing up tilt it so I don't lose any and off we go it's a quirky little thing isn't it but then what we can do when we want to unload it we can open this top bit up got a bit of a squeak on that and if we tilt it you'll notice at some point where are we there we go We can then unload again afterwards. Either into a silo, feed trough, straw, bedding for cows and pigs, that kind of thing. But that's really cool. It's very basic, very simple, but also very cool at the same time. So there we go. How lovely is that? The Cavernland Hay Fork by North modding company next we've got this beastie this is the john deere 2730 plow this is by ja modding it's 16.08 megabytes download 11 slots on console it's a 7.9 meter plow but this thing is heavy heavy construction you're gonna have no problem getting this into the ground the weight alone We'll drop it in and you'll have no issues. Now, it does say on the details, um, the slack in the structure results in reduced clogging and increased waste flow to maintain productivity and uptime rather than to stop to keep declogging 
and it then being downtime. It is you, it's weird. I don't know what it is, but the, the black on that just seems to absorb light. As you kind of get close to it, it just seems very dark. Is that just me imagining things? Probably. Um, you'll find this under tools and plows. 58,000 for a 7.9 meter plow. It requires 410 horsepower to pull. There are no options available. You get it just like that. And then what we'll do is start the engine, unfold it, nice animations on that, and sound effects, drop it down to the ground. So it is ploughing, as you can see, front section is doing the ploughing work, leaving a ploughed state, back section is cultivating, so it's giving you a nice seedbed on there as well. It is bringing stones up, as you can see. Large ones, too. It's a proper beast of a, of a plough, this one. You can create fields with it as well, as you can with most ploughs. I know there's a few different mods available now that allow cultivators to do it and things like that as well. If we get to the very end, if I press L1 and triangle, it says allow create fields. I can extend my field make a new field, do whatever I want to really. At that point, when you've got something this heavy, you can just plough through anything you like. Uh, limit to fields, lift the plough, and fold away. Very cool indeed. The John Deere 2730 plough by JA Modding. Really nicely detailed that. Very cool. Which brings me on to the last of the mods for today, and it's this little beauty. When I said I wasn't sure whether the uh, Zerion was my favourite, because I like this one too. Now, now we have got a couple of modded Lexians at the moment. This is the Class Lexian 8000 by SB Farms. It's 18.1 megabytes download, 15 slots on console. As you can see, we've got twin tyres. I do, I love the tracked Lexians. The Terra Track Lexians, I think they look absolutely amazing. But there's something very kind of kind of aggressive and imposing about any, any harvester that has twins and stuff on it. I just think they look really, really cool. This has got some nice animations and some nice options on it too. As you can see, the number on there. So if you've got multiple ones, you can have them numbered so you don't lose track of them. <laughs> if you lost track of one of these, you're a terrible eyesight. Mind you, I suppose it depends on the size of your farm and the size of your fields, of course. Um, so... This you'll find uh, under vehicles, under harvesters. Now the standard in-game Lexian 8900 is 489,500, as is this, so the price isn't any different. I think the slot counts are the same, that's 15, yeah, slot counts are the same on them as well. Uh, options, we've got Trelleborg, Michelin, Continental, and back again. Under each one, we've got twins, we can have standard tracks, we can have a wide tyre at the rear or back to twins, and that's the same on each of them. Depending on what tread pattern you'd rather go for. Uh, at the moment, it's on EU, and you see all the uh, red and white everywhere. We can switch it to US, takes all that off, puts, has a triangle on the back. I think it puts some lights on the back of the walkway. Hang on. Yeah, uh, and then we've got fleet number, as we saw on the side, that goes from one through to five, I think it is. Yep, no, no. Then engine setup, we've got 653 horsepower or 780. Now, there's no difference in price, so you might as well go for 780. It's not charged anymore, or you might not want to. You might want to be different. That's entirely up to you. Then we've got number plate option on there as well. Let's hop in. Start it up. Animations on this are really nice, so we'll do the unfold first. I do like that. That ladder unfold. Very cool. Pipe unfolds. Got a nice long pipe on this as well. Uh, right, beacons. We've got two at the front and one at the rear, I think. Yep, one at the rear there. 
horn, lights. There is a light on the pipe as well. If we go through those options, uh, and then open the pipe out. If I do the next light one, you'll see. There you go, light on the pipe as well. For unloading. Very cool. And what I like as well, I mean, that's, again, this is not anything particularly new, but it's really cool that in cab, when you look up, because the pipe sticks forward, when you're unloading from in cab, you can see that pipe. It's not sat back behind you where you can't see. That's a fairly common thing on most things now these days, I guess. But um, so there's your pipe. Now, what this also has under L1, uh, L1, and is it up and down, is it? No, nope, side to side. Side to side. We can open and close the door. You can see that move. But on the back, side to side, L1 and side to side. I'll get there in a minute. L1 and up and down opens the side panels, puts the ladder out for maintenance work on the harvester. Let's spin that around so we can see in the light. That's cool. Uh, enable straw swath. Or disable. Interior, we've kind of already seen. Nicely detailed. Sounds great, looks great. Now, it doesn't come with a, he a header or a header trailer. I just grabbed the, which one is the, the modded 60 foot monster. I thought I would just see if it would work with it. There's absolutely no reason why it wouldn't. So I set that on. I think this was part of, yeah, the Lizard Dura 60 foot. I did a mod review on this a while back. Um, but I wanted to see it in operation. Very nice indeed, that. Probably never to feed the house. Can you see that? We've got stuff coming through the gap. Probably shouldn't be doing that. We'll have to stop and do some maintenance. Anyway, let's drop that down and disconnect that. That's the class Lexion 8000 by SB Farms. Lovely. And that's it for the mods for today. Hope you found this useful and informative in some way, shape or form. If you have, please give us a like. If you don't subscribe yet, please do. If you want to leave a comment, feel free. And if you want to share this video, then please be my guest. Don't forget, I do have a Discord server. If you're interested in going onto the Discord server, loads of really helpful, lovely people on there that will help out with questions. Be there to just chat. You can share pictures and all sorts of stuff. It's great. Get in there, have a look and have a chat to people. Uh, whatever you should choose to do, Thanks for watching.